Welcome viewers to History Facts. It's Walk 2019 in Egypt and a group of archaeologists are exhuming an old graveyard. One thousands of years prior, the early pharaohs were let go in this rambling necropolis covered underneath burial chambers and pyramids that kept their items disguised from general visibility while administrations rose and fell. However, the specialists endure and simultaneously, they hit after something mind-blowing. Archaeologists in Egypt uncovered a 4,400-year-old burial chamber total with impeccably protected canvases. But before we get started, if you're enjoying this video, show us some love by subscribing. It's the best way to support us and never miss out. Let's get started. Since the 19th 100 years, gatherings of Bacos have brushed the remains of Saqqara looking for relics from the district's captivating past. During Egypt's most memorable tradition, the earliest aristocrats were covered here, all things considered, meaning one thousands of years is worth of history lies concealed someplace underneath the dry rough ground. At the point when we consider old Egypt today, we will generally review popular tourist spots like the pyramids of Giza and the incomparable Sphinx. In around 3100 BC, Egypt's most memorable pharaoh came to the high position, subsequently launching a period known as the primary line, for the following 30 centuries. Then, at that point, a progression of additional lines managed over the old realm until the primary century BCE, when the locale eventually turned out to be important for the Roman domain. However, while the rulers of old Egypt at last disappeared, their effect on the district can in any case be seen today. As a matter of fact, from the earliest lines onwards, the pharaohs feature their tremendous abundance by building resplendent and elaborate burial places. And even currently, we're finding landmarks to rulers who kicked the bucket a long time prior. As recently referenced, Saqqara has ended up being rich and fortunes to the graveyard is under an hour's drive south of the renowned Giza Pyramid Complex and is related with Memphis, the capital of Old Egypt. Established during the hour of the main pharaoh, Memphis was situated on the banks of the Waterway Nile, and the once flourishing city is remembered to have held about 30,000 occupants at its pinnacle making it the world's most crowded settlement at that point. In the meantime, the principal lords to be covered at Saqqara were individuals from the second tradition who were let go in displays underneath the ground. They weren't the last, however, as the burial places and landmarks of many further pharaohs were developed here, with the site staying a profoundly critical area even into Roman times. Furthermore, since the 1900 years, inquisitive wayfarers have been digging into its passages and burial places to find out about the old world. Maybe the most well-known structure at Saqqara also is the Pyramid of Djoser, which denotes the last resting spot of the third tradition or leader of a similar name. The pyramid is remembered to date from the 27th century BC, meaning being the most seasoned, unblemished stone structure complex in the world is accepted. However, while a significant part of the Djoser Pyramid complex was uncovered during the 19th 100 years, Large numbers of Sokar has privileged insights have in any case stayed covered up to this point. As a matter of fact, during long-term period from 1982 to 1986, nearly 35 burial chambers were found inside the necropolis. And as the years have passed, significantly more ponders have re-emerged from the old graveyard. This time, analysts found seven burial chambers covered underneath the necropolis, with each loaded up with the embalmed stays of felines and scarab creepy crawlies, yet incredibly, that was a long way from the remainder of the Saqqara revelations. Indeed, in December 2018, Egyptian authorities reported that another burial chamber had been found, and this time the design was believed to be around 4,400 years of age and furnished with incredibly protected models and works of art. Then, at that point, on April 13, 2019, authorities in Egypt made an unimaginable declaration, obviously, an undertaking drove by Mohamed Magad from the Czech Organization of Paleohistory had been leading unearthings at a site close to the Sokar and Acropolis. And keeping in mind that there, the gathering had found various captivating burial chambers, the entombment chambers found at this area are remembered to date from the fifth tradition which started over quite a while back upon the beginning of the rule of Pharaoh client sleep. Also, this time of Egyptian history eventually went on for roughly 150 years, finishing off with around the mid-24th century BCE, when Anas, the remainder of his administration, kicked the bucket. Clearly, Parasite and his group had found various fifth tradition burial chambers of the site close Saqqara. As the spouse of Lord Jekko Assessi said, Tigger was one of the line's last sovereigns. Egyptian relics Pastor Khaled al Yunani declared that one more burial chamber had been found back in Wak 2019. 
This burial chamber was likewise evidently from the hour of the fifth administration, with specialists dating it at over 4,000 years of age. In any case, in spite of the construction is extraordinary age, its inside was amazingly very much saved. Truth be told, the reliefs on the walls were all around as new and energetic as though they had been as of late painted. It's accepted, besides, that the burial place had a place with a man named Kobe, an official who resided during the fifth line. What's more from that point, there is a bigger chamber with painted reliefs portraying the proprietor situated at a contribution stable. Furthermore, how did he acquire such an intricate burial place? All things considered, as per Al Anon his articulation, as the north mass of the construction was motivated by the pyramids of the fifth administration, this thus proposes that its occupant might well have been an individual critical. The burial chamber's entrance was likewise developed in a passage style, another characteristic normal of the pharaoh's resting places. And obviously, the lively campuses that line that burial chamber hold one more sign to call his actual personality. All things considered, there is no proof to recommend that the authority was himself an individual from the decision world class. That is a similar ruler whose spouse's name was found recorded on a segment somewhere else in Saqqara. Coming to the high position at some point in the late 25th or mid 24th century BC, the ruler is remembered to have governed old Egypt for a very long time or more prohibited by history specialists. Jekko parted from custom and declined to build a sanctuary devoted to the sun god Ra. The ruler is likewise remembered to have requested missions to Sinai looking for valuable metals and products and the old Egyptians started to venture into the close by an area of Canaan during his rule. Today, in any case, Jedker is known generally for the series of changes that he effected across antiquated Egypt. However, various students of history currently concur that the pharaoh's methodology was not a decent one. The Egyptian government purportedly wasn't the main thing that Jedko looked to change, as he is likewise said to have directed a progression of changes to the funerary factions of the time, this arrangement of conventions and customs represented entombments and were accepted to ensure safe entry into existence in the wake of death for the departed. Curiously, Jedko is remembered to have turned into the subject of his own religion after his demise. What's more, as the fifth administration moved into the sixth, the ruler kept on being respected. Be that as it may, exactly what sort of relationship did Jedko have with Kohai, the authority whose burial place was found close by? Indeed, as per some, the intricate idea of Cohen's entombments proposes that he might have been firmly familiar with the pharaoh. As a matter of fact, some accepted that there might have been a family association between the pair. Moreover, some accepted the extravagant stylistic layout of Cohen's burial chamber is likewise proof of the very changes that Jed crushed into place. Yet anything the association between the pair specialists trust that the disclosure of Kovi's entombment put might reveal an insight into the existence of Jager. Maybe a few responses will drop via different relics that were found inside Cohen's burial place. Furthermore, on April 13, 2019, Al-Yunani invited in excess of 50 unfamiliar ministers to the site close Saqqara, after which he provided them with a visit through Kovi's burial place. However, while specialists might trust that the find will show them more Jedko in his rule, the Egyptian authorities might be waiting for a somewhat more unmistakable result. The burial chamber is only one of various revelations being praised by the public authority with the expectation that they will urge vacationers back to the country. In 2010, Egypt invited more than 14 million travelers, a lot of whom might have been enraptured by the country's notable destinations. What's more, right away, it was accepted that there would be a vertical pattern in excursion attendees to the country, with upwards of 16 million guests anticipated to show up in Egypt all through 2011. Notwithstanding, Destiny had something else in store on January 25, 2011. Fights the Egyptian government started. Baffled by an undeniably severe and degenerate state, different youth bunches ascended launching social turmoil that went on for over about 14 days. And in the time of only a couple of days, one million guests leave their days off and left the nation as per the New York Times. Moreover, in spite of the fact that President Mubarak at last ventured down on February 11, 2011, political turmoil kept on tormenting Egypt for various years and accordingly, guest numbers stayed low. It's assessed that travel into represented some 10% of the nation's position subsequently. However, the vacationer business was enduring misfortunes of around $1 billion consistently, and the circumstance was just exacerbated in 2015 after the accident of a Russian Airbus B-321 plane over Egypt's Sinai Promontory supposedly brought somewhere near a bomb. 
The airplane separated in the wake of withdrawing the traveler town of Sharm el Sheikh, bringing about the passings of an excess of 200 individuals. So, with the business recuperating, authorities are quick to help guest numbers to the levels that they were at before the insurgency. Fortunately, for those trying to further develop the travel industry in Egypt, ongoing years have seen a stunning number of notable finds rise up out of the locale. And Al Anon, he pronounced 2018 as the time of archaeological revelations that December mirroring the way that every week had seen a previously unheard of improvements in the field. In the meantime, specialists are hopeful that new finds, for example, the one made at Saqqara in Wak 2019 could assist with facilitating resuscitate the country's vacationer industry. Thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss out on any of our upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. It's the best way to stay in the loop.